Smile and learn. Let's find out what energy is, what its properties are, and what types of energy exist. Energy is anything that has the capacity to produce a change in matter. If you look around, you'll see that energy is present everywhere. For example, cars move thanks to energy produced by motor combustion. The blades of the mill start moving thanks to the energy produced by the wind. We can walk or jump thanks to the energy we get from food. You should know that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy can only be transferred from one object to another. For example, energy in the air can be transformed in electricity, and this can be transformed in thermal energy to warm a room by means of a radiator. We obtain energy from two sources, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable energy refers to all those limitless energy sources present in nature, like wind, for example, sunlight, or sea waves. Non-renewable energy refers to the limited energy sources that we exhaust with use, like oil or coal. Energy possesses four fundamental properties you should know about. Energy transforms. For example, when we use a battery for a flashlight, the chemical energy in the battery transforms in electric energy. Energy is transferred from one object to another. For example, when we mix hot and cold water, thermal energy passes from hot water to cold water. Energy is transported and can move from one place to another. This way, energy travels through electric cables and reaches our houses. Energy can be stored. For example, mobile phone batteries are used for storing energy. Let's recap. Energy transforms, is transferred, and can also be transported and stored. Thermal energy, that is also called heat energy, is transferred with heat. Mechanical energy is created by two objects, owing to their movement. Electric energy is carried by electric currents. Chemical energy is found in substances like food or fuel. Light energy that is present in the light. Eolic energy that comes from the wind. Or hydraulic energy which we obtain thanks to the flow of water. It's easy to understand that energy is essential for life because it causes all changes to occur in the world around us. Renewable Energy We obtain energy from two different sources, renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today we're going to learn about renewable energy sources. Renewable energy refers to all those limitless energy sources present in nature. The sun, the wind, the force of water, or the inner heat of the earth are examples of renewable energy sources. These energy sources are present in nature and are naturally replenished. That's why they never run out. These are some of the most well-known renewable energy types. Solar energy comes from the sun and reaches us as light and heat. For example, Thanks to these solar panels, we can capture sunlight energy and transform it into thermal energy to heat water in this house. Eolic energy comes from the movement of air or the wind. For example, these windmills transform wind into electric energy. Tidal wave energy comes from the movement of sea waves or when tides change from high to low and vice versa. Hydraulic energy is produced by the water we store in reservoirs or artificial lakes. Look at this dam! Water falls over from a high spot. Then, it flows through the hydroelectric factory, where the force of the water is transformed into electric energy. Geothermal energy is generated from the heat stored in the earth. This type of energy is used for heating a house or generating electricity, for example. 
Let's look at some of the main advantages of renewable energies. They are environmentally friendly because they don't emit CO2 or greenhouse effect gases. They are limitless because they are obtained from natural resources that don't run out and replenish naturally. They are safer for our health because they don't generate toxic residues harmful for people. There is no doubt that renewable energies have many advantages, but there are disadvantages as well. Renewable energy resources are not found everywhere in the world. Countries with shorter daylight hours cannot produce as much solar energy as other parts of the world. Obtaining renewable energy can be random or variable because it depends on natural phenomena that we cannot always predict. For example, the amount of rainfall. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to accelerate the transition to renewable energies. Non-renewable energy. We obtain energy from two different sources. Renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today we're going to learn about non-renewable energy sources. Non-renewable energy refers to the limited energy sources on the planet that don't replenish naturally. Coal, oil, natural gas, or nuclear energy are examples of non-renewable energy sources. In nature, there are limited resources of this type of energy. That's why they may run out with use. These are some of the most well-known non-renewable energy sources. Oil is found under the Earth's surface. It's a liquid substance formed by a mixture of hydrocarbons. Oil has a strong smell and dark color. Oil is used to produce fuels like gasoline or gas oil, which we use to power the engines of vehicles. Coal is a rock that is extracted from open pit underground mines. It's a black substance formed by the fossilization of the dead remains of plants. When coal is burned, it produces heat. Natural gas is extracted from deposits found under the ground. We use natural gas to heat houses. Uranium is a chemical element extracted from underground shafts and mines. We use uranium to produce nuclear energy, which in its turn will later transform into electric energy. Non-renewable energies have disadvantages for the environment. For example, exhaust gases emit contamination gases in the atmosphere, which are harmful for the planet. As for nuclear energy, it is necessary to handle radioactive residues properly. When there's an accident related to non-renewable energy resources and residues, environmental catastrophes of great magnitude may occur, which are crucial for the Earth and all living beings. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to reduce the use of non-renewable energy resources and accelerate the transition towards renewable energies. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.